angel faces how are you long time no see i feel like it's been like what a year i'm so sorry that i've been away for so long it's been a month and i've had so many life changes in the past month no guys i'm not pregnant don't worry big big changes big big changes so i feel like i need to do a kind of q a update video for you guys so that will be coming shortly don't worry but i miss you guys so much i actually had a couple of you guys messaging me like last week Today's video is actually a little bit of a weird one, like coming back with this video seems a bit strange, but I am having an intervention, I'm having a spring clean, and I need to do the biggest perfume declutter ever. And I've decided within this past month when I've been on a bit of a hiatus that I want to live a soft life. If you are all about soft life, then let me know in the comment section. But I've decided that I want to live a soft life of luxury mimic mimic luxury minimalism i don't know what it means but it sounds bloody good right but guys i'm gonna tell you a little bit of a secret okay i'm letting you down because as soon as i sell all these fragrances best believe i'm either gonna buy new fragrances or i'm gonna put the money towards a designer handbag so i'm not really sitting here being like mother Teresa, a lot of selling all my collection to you know put it in crypto or buy index funds but as always my people if you are based in the uk and you're interested in purchasing any of these fragrances then just hit me up on Instagram, Lauren underscore Redlands. Guys, you better buy my fragrances because I'm sending them with free delivery and I promise that I'm not going to use Hermes or Elry or whatever it's called when they like, you know, steal your parcels and then say, oh, it's lost. All these fragrances are going to be priced at super duper prices because I'm a super duper human being. <laughs> Guys. This first fragrance is actually shocking. Like, it's so weird to me. Like, I think that this is one of the most randomest things that I have ever bought in my life. And I remember buying it maybe like last year and seeing it on sale, and I was going mad. I was like, oh my God, wow, this is going to be game changing. And have I even used it? Have I even sprayed this fragrance? I am wayward for this one. Every time I look at it, it just pisses me off. This is Tom Ford's Tobacco Vinny Body Spray. Like, do I even own the fragrance? What was I thinking purchasing this? Guys, I really thought that this was going to be a good idea when I bought this. By the way, I didn't own the fragrance back then when I bought this either. But I was thinking to myself, yeah, I like tobacco veneer. I think it would be so amazing as a body spray. I could layer it with things. Guys, is this fragrance is so polarizing that it just wouldn't really work with anything that I layer it with. It would work with that pretty little thing tobacco back over knee dupe that I got recently, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm lazy. I really can't be bothered to layer this with that. I honestly forgot that I own this and it's just got to go. Sorry, Mr. Ford. Goodbye. So this next fragrance really saddens me to see it go, but it's got to go. And I have my reasons, okay? This is Ormond's Jane Taif. And I'm not selling this because I don't love this scent and I don't think it's gorgeous. Guys, this fragrance really does smell like soft life. Like it's for the gorgeous, gorgeous girls. It's a beautiful, feminine, dates, fresh rose fragrance. But guys, I recently smelt Taif Intense, which... Oh, guys, this fragrance is gorgeous. I've just smelled it again. If you like fragrances like Parfum Smiley, Delina, if you like Greedy or you are going to love this. You know, that kind of fresh, watery vibe that you get from fragrances. That is the Taif DNA. So I love this, but obviously now I've smelled the intense. I'm like, I need that. I'm going to sell this. And I think that personally, I have a little bit of a bondage for the word intense. Like if a fragrance was an eau de toilette, but it just slapped the word intense on it, I'm like, oh, I need to try it. But yeah, guys, I'm just girl crushing on the intense version of this now. So I just don't need this anymore. Okay, so these next ones, like, I feel like a bit of a criminal talking about this because I have been the one that has been hyping up this brand, these fragrances, and now I'm like, I'm ready to sell. But it's not because these are not good fragrances, guys. It's just because I've got to think about the Chanel handbag. These two are the ones. <laughs> guys, ooh, do you see that? There's a bit of dust on there. Guys, these are by Paris Monte Carlo. This is Ambergris and this one is Ylang Nosy Bee. Oh, I love, I love. I am completely honest with you guys in my journey in fragrances. When I love something, I'm going to tell you about it. But equally, I'm also going to tell you when I don't love something and that is being decluttered. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes you can buy a fragrance, fall in love with it and then 
not fall in love with it as much. And it's not that I don't like these fragrances. Ambergris is a very kind of polarizing ambery scent. It's got some florals, but it is quite salty. It is a very polarizing and unique fragrance that I just have not been reaching for that much. So I'm going to sell this. And then with Yelang Nosy Bee, I adore this fragrance. So it's going to be a really hard sell. But the problem is I've bought so many new summer fragrances recently i need to do a haul for you you guys better be excited because the discoveries have been wild um but i just think to myself am i realistically going to wear this fragrance much this summer i do not think so maybe i might get a little 30 ml bottle of this just in case i miss it but yeah it's, it's gotta go it's gotta go okay so these next two i'm really on the fence about selling but to be honest i think that it's time that they have to go this is mimo paris sintra and killian love don't be shy extreme i know Ooh, oh my god why are these for your bangers for the summer yeah guys i loved these last summer but i'm not gonna lie to you this year i've got so bored of that kind of neroli orange blossom marshmallow combo that these fragrances have and it's crazy because last year that is exactly how i wanted to smell but now i don't know i'm just kind of put off by the scent of neroli orange blossom marshmallow i really don't know why you guys best believe that i will never sell why i sell atlas garden that's just an epic orange blossom fragrance that i will not sell anytime soon but i think these two are just a little bit too similar i don't feel in the mood at all to smell like this dna at all so it's really sad because this is actually a limited edition fragrance although killian still is selling it to this day what like a year later i think yeah guys reluctantly i think i'm going to have to sell these two or maybe what i will do is i'll just keep one just in case i'm in the mood for that dna and to be honest i think it is going to be Mimo paris Sintra. this is definitely in my opinion the better version of this just because it's a little bit more unique with that green petal gray note at the top but then dries down to satin about the same and also i think that i prefer this kind of dna in the summer anyway and i think that this is more summertime appropriate than this so there we go <laughs> guys my priorities are all over the place because these next two fragrances i feel like you're going to be so shocked about because they are both from one of my favorite brands <gasps> these are initio fragrances and i am selling initio side effects <laughs> do you think i'm actually being serious of course i'm not bloody selling side effect come on <laughs> but for real guys this is initio psychedelic love and this is Bless Baraka. Bless Baraka, I actually gave myself a little bit of a rule. If I didn't pick this up that much this winter that's just gone, it's got to go. And I only wore this once during the whole entire winter season. So as much as I like this fragrance, it's got to go. And guys, Psychedelic Love, my relationship with this fragrance has been so wild. So I started off not liking this fragrance at all. And then last year, I tried this fragrance. So I was like, hmm, this ain't too bad. So then I bought this as a gift to myself on my birthday and I haven't worn this that much at all. I think I've only worn it once. And when I wore it, I didn't really enjoy myself that day. I wasn't really feeling myself. I wasn't feeling like a gorgeous, gorgeous girl at all. And my fragrance is new to you know, make me feel a bit sexy. So if I'm not feeling sexy, then it's a problem and it's got to go. Someone else will feel sexy when they wear this because this is a nice fragrance, but it's not for me. So these two are being sold. Oh, this next one. Ooh, this next one. Oh, Lord. I, I spoke about this in literally my last video, but I have had an intervention. I was like, nah, because I have so many fragrances that smell similar to this. And also I have fragrances on my wish list that smell similar to this. This has got to go. This is Byron Parfums Miller Miller. <gasps> I feel like I've been doing that the whole video because I've just been feeling your gasps every single time that I mention a fragrance. But Miller Miller, what can I say? Guys, this fragrance is amazing. It's gorgeous. However, the problem is, is there are so many fruity floral gourmand fragrances on the market. I recently bought Herba Pura, which isn't an exact dupe to this, but they're in a very similar vibe. Also, La Capitale by Zershop is in a very similar vibe to this. There are so many niche fruity florals on the market, and I'm not going to lie to you, I buy them for vibes. 
I don't buy them because they're my favorite genre of perfume. I find that, and I don't know if any of you can relate to this, a lot of fruity floral fragrances go a bit sinny on me. Sinny, short for synthetic, but we're using the word sinny. So a lot of fruity floral niche fragrances, they go a bit sinny on my skin. Like, I think it's the musk. I think if they contain musk in the dry down, I'm always like, oh, this is getting a bit sinny. I don't like it. So when I'm looking for a few... So when I'm looking for a fruity floor, when I'm looking for a few, when I'm looking for a fruity floral fragrance, there we go. I tend to lean away from the ones that have got that sinny kind of musk note in them. But then I got Urban Pura, which also has that vibe. But I'm not really making any sense right now, am I? Basically, what I'm trying to say is I've got way too many fruity floral sinny fragrances in my collection that I don't need this. I do not need it. And I think that it will definitely go to a better home. Right, I just want to try some other fruity floral feminine fragrances this summer. Um, and the ones that I've had for a long time have just got to go. And this is one of them. <laughs> this last one is just the ghetto. It's the bloody ghetto because I don't even know how I'm going to sell this fragrance. I hope that someone buys this off of me. This is Rosie All Day by Gallagher Fragrances. The lid is gone. I don't know where it is, guys. If you want to buy this and you're like, please, Lauren, please, Lauren, may I have some more? May I have some more lid? <laughs> there's no lids i'm so sorry i can't even like take a lid off and put it on this because i really like lids on my fragrances so the fact that the lid is not on it bothers me but that's not the reason why i'm selling it the reason why i'm selling rosé all day is just because i don't wear it that much anymore i didn't wear it at all last winter and i've fallen in love with that fragrance is it midnight jasmine by pearl sense parfum which is a jasmine version of this basically i think i already mentioned to you as well that the note of rose isn't really getting my juices flowing the way it did like three four years ago but this is a gorgeous gourmand rose fragrance if you're in the uk and maybe you've been a little bit sad that you haven't been able to get your hands on rose all day i have this here without a lid without a lid i'll give you a little bit of a discount because there's no lids but <laughs> but yeah rose all day has got let me know in the comment section if there's any fragrances that are going on your declutter list. I do have a couple more that I'm going to sell that I didn't include in this video because this video would be too long. And I'm also debating selling Maison Francis, Kirk John, Utsa and Muda. Oh, I know, I know. You know what? The reason why I want to sell MFK, Utsa and Muda is because I want the X rate and then I also want Oud X rate as well. So it's not in vain guys it's not in vain before you leave don't forget to leave this video a massive thumbs up as you know it really supports my visibility on youtube and if you're new please subscribe i'd love to have you join the family <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye